As you can see behind me, we've got a, a, a flatbed truck with two ice sculptures with the heads of John Howard and George Bush on them. Now, these two leaders are the leaders of rogue states when it comes to climate change. They're basically the coalition of un the unwilling. That's because they've refused to ratify the Kyoto Protocol, the only real global agreement to take meaningful action to stop climate change. This week is an opportunity for real leadership to be demonstrated by Prime Minister Howard and by the other leaders of the, attending the APEC Leaders Forum. The reality is that the people who are least responsible for the climate change crisis are the people who are in the front line of that crisis. They're the poor people living in developing countries. They're poor people whose livelihoods, whose food security is at risk because of climate change. It's a tough call, I guess, really, isn't it? I mean, it'll have an impact on the poor people. I mean, really, it'll have an impact on our children in the long term, I believe. So uh, I think something's really going to have to be done, yeah. And not just... Uh, you know, wealthy countries' children, the world's children, they're our future.